Hi there! Welcome back to GoNisa channel. Despite being 36 years old, Luka Modric remains one of the best midfielders in the world. His football journey is nothing short of fantastic. He has risen from shepherding as a child in war-torn Croatia to the pinnacle of world football. And his life story contains everything a football fan needs to be inspired. In today's video, let's take a look at some facts about his life and career in 2022. Luka Modric was born into a family of refugees. He was the oldest child born to Stipe Modric and Radojka Modric. His mom was once a textile worker and his father was once a military mechanic who repaired cars for Croatian soldiers in war. He has two siblings. They are Yasminia Modric and Diora Modric. Luka Modric and his wife Vanja Bosnik began their romantic relationship in 2006. The pair met in 2007 while Vanja was working at the sports agency of former Dynamo Zagreb executive director Zdravko Mamik. His wife would later take over as his agent and secure a monumental deal to take him to Real Madrid in 2012. They spent four years together before officially getting married in May 2010. Luca and Vanja have three children together, Ivano, born in 2010, Emma, born in 2013, and Sofia, born in 2017. Luka Modric's career started in 2005 when he signed for Croatia Giants, Dynamo Zagreb. He continued his development in this club where he won three consecutive league titles and domestic cups, being named the Priva HNL Player of the Year in 2007. From 2003 to 2005, Modric had spells on loan to Zrinski Mostar and Inter Zaprešić. In 2008, he moved to Premier League club Tottenham Hotspur for a club record transfer fee of 16.5 million pounds. Due to injuries, he left Tottenham after four seasons after scoring 17 goals in 159 games in his time in London. Next move for Madrid was joining Real Madrid in 2012. Madrid has won every possible trophy in his seven seasons with Los Blancos, including five UEFA Champions League titles, three La Liga titles, one Copa del Rey, and four FIFA Club World Cup titles especially the prestigious Ballon d'Or in 2018, becoming the only player in the last 12 years to win the award ahead of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. As for his international career, Modric made his international debut for Croatia against Argentina in March 2006 and scored his first international goal in a friendly match against Italy. In March 2021, he went on to become the country's most capped player in history. Furthermore, he has been named Croatian Footballer of the Year a record 10 times between 2007 and 2021. As of 2022, his net worth is estimated at $80 million, which mainly comes from his football career. The football star and his wife purchased the mansion in 2019 at $14 million. The house's living space is 10,000 square meters. It boasts nine bedrooms and nine bathrooms. It boasts a large massage parlor, a gym, and has a swimming pool. Plus, there is also a spectacular cinema with 18 seats. There is also a glass wine cellar and a room for kids that is 80 meters with swings and television and a climbing wall. The first car Modric owns is a lavish Bentley Continental GT, which was worth $220,000. He is often spotted in this car while driving to the training sessions. It has a top speed of 208 miles per hour. The second he has is an Audi Q8, which has a price tag of $80,000. It's a quiet and comfortable SUV to drive day to day, yet it also delights when the road gets twisty. 
and the last one in his garage is a Tesla Model S, which was purchased at $70,000. This car ranks near the top of the luxury hybrid and electric car class, owing to its spacious interior, strong acceleration, composed handling, and terrific driving range. Luka Modric idolized Ronaldo from a young age. It is not for his former teammate CR7 that Modric has a particular soft spot, but rather the Brazilian namesake. The Croatian claimed that growing up, his first pair of shin pads had a picture of Ronaldo on them. You might not know that he is compared to the Dutch legend not only for football reasons, but also for his incredible physical resemblance. So much so that at one time, Modric was known as the Balkans Cruyff. In 2016, Modric admitted to Carlo Ancelotti being his favorite manager. We had a great relationship, we still have a good one, that's why I would pick him, he said. And in 2022, the Real Madrid number 10 is playing under his favorite manager once again and thriving. And that's all for the video today. Thanks for your watching and be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and see you in the next video.